as a member of the Ottawa 67, Shane Campbell and the captain of Ottawa, Thomas Nesbitt, gets set for a big division rival. There's Matt Pumple, the game winner last night versus the Oshawa Generals. He and hometown native Ryan Spooner. It's the Pete's in the Ottawa 67s next on Rogers TV. Prince picks it up off the boards. He gets a elbow from Smith, and Baron Smith is going to the box for two or less. With 2.37 to go in the first, 67's already 0 for 1 with the man advantage. Well, Ottawa's going to get their second power play chance here. Baron Smith, who's had a physical start to this one, just got his hand in the face of Shane Prince. No doubt about that one. Prince, of course, the top scoring 67 on the season with 19 points. The second unit on now, and it's going to be Prince across center for Toffoli to Martindale. Back to Toffoli. Scores! Tyler Toffoli. Power play goal. We're tied at one. Well, just a terrific give and go. Worked by the two veterans, Tyler Toffoli and Ryan Martindale, and Toffoli finishes the job. He was the most dangerous 67 on the ice Wednesday in Belleville. Probably had three high-end chances to score, just couldn't finish around the net, but he makes no mistake here. The give goes to some open space, gets the puck from Martindale, and he buries it. Glove side, off the post and in to make it a 1-1 tie. Second. And Ottawa's up by one. And it's been all 67s here in the second period. Shots now 9-0, 21-11. Great speed here by Prince, cutting to the net. Just fearless, but D'Agostini coming across to make the save as Prince continues to be a, a tremendous story for the 67s this year. I think maybe a bit of a forgotten man when you look to guys like Toffoli and Martindale and some of the other high-powered offensive talents on this squad, Lindsay and Nesbitt, but He's been the one leading the way, 20 points on the season. Well, that speed of his certainly puts him in great position. To turn the momentum in the last couple of minutes, a couple of big hits, and they've generated at least a couple of shots out of it. Deflection there by Martindale. Prince, good way to hustle. Oh, what a goal by Martindale. Far side low, we are tied at three. But credit Shane Prince. He went into the corner, took it away from the defender, and got it to Martindale for the quick one-timer. And all tied up at three. Yeah, that's just Shane Prince winning a battle in the corner. And then the quick pass out to Ryan Martindale. But credit Shane Prince on that one. Terrific individual effort as the puck went into the corner. 50-50 battle. He wins it clean, finds Martindale. And a quick one-timer beats the netminder D'Agostini. Martindale with that quick release, finding some room in the five hole. And the 67s tied at three as Lever Sage Almost. got some company oh. there. There we go. He took a stick in the Prince driver for the net. Sharp angle shot D'Agostini. Might have got a piece of it. Shane Prince keeps it in. Martindale gets it to Prince. To Toffoli scores! Tyler Toffoli, top of the slot, and Ottawa takes a one-goal lead. Well, Ottawa really unable to generate anything offensively on the power play, but as soon as they get things five on five, they had Peterborough hemmed in their defensive zone. And Toffoli makes them pay as we have a look at the replay. A little entry pass here to Prince. Couldn't get the short side goal in. Turnover. Prince gets a down low to Martindale and watch Toffoli just cocked and ready to go and the one-timer beats D'Agostini. No chance on that one. Ottawa back in the lead. So what we've seen tonight. Yeah, no kidding. I was figuring what would have happened by now already. Toffoli keeps the puck on side. Prince coming off the boards. Back to Gibbons. Quick shot scores! Power play goal! That's just a great play from Travis Gibbons to find space through the seam. And a great pass from Shane Prince to set him up as Travis Gibbons 
with a power play goal makes this a 5-3 hockey game as we watch it again Gibbons moves it into the corner to Foley wins the battle moves it down low to Prince and then Gibbons found a seam took that pass and buried it past D'Agostini a four-point night for Prince Martindale and Toffoli three each now and Ottawa is the first lead of two goals for either team here in this hockey game at 5-3. And here's Spooner. 67s will send the fans home happy on the power of a 5-4 victory. Big face-off win there by Ryan Martindale at the end of the game. Well, we talked about on discipline penalties that the Foley one definitely won, and, and Pumple had a couple as to Baron Smith. Just wonder how this will play out for tomorrow night's game in Peterborough. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun, yeah. but Overall, certainly Ottawa deserved the victory. I, I think head coach Chris Byrne will want to shore up some things in his own zone. Will want to shore up some turnovers. Offensively, you can't really complain too much. No. Uh, the last 40 minutes in particular, they created a ton of scoring chances. And the big line of Toffoli, Martindale, and Prince really came through with four of the five goals. Ten points between those three players here today. And Ottawa comes away with a big divisional win. The first of eight against the Peaks this year. The final here from the Rona Center, the 67s with a 5-4 victory. You're watching the Rona Center, you, you see the three stars. Andrew D'Agostini with 50 saves. Shane Prince with four assists. Ryan Martindale as well on that first line of one-man wrecking crew. There are three stars here in the 5-4 victory for Ottawa. Down to ice level with the first star of the game, Ryan Martindale with Lever Sage. Martindale here, Ryan. Uh, a game that you guys look like you're in control of for the most part, but still came down to holding on with a defensive zone faceoff at the end to win it. Uh, close one against a division rival tonight. Yeah, you know, all these division games are really important to us. You know, they really, uh, they really add up at, in the end of the season. So uh, we just wanted to come in with a good effort. We took a lot of time this week uh, preparing for this game. So it's uh, good to get the win. What was it about your line that was so dominant tonight? Uh, Ten points, four for you, four for Shane Prince, and two for Tyler Toffoli with you and Tyler each having two goals in this game. What was it that sparked the offensive output? I you know it's just a, a new a new thing that we tried out there. We switched it up uh, a couple practices ago. You know, the chemistry seemed to be right. And uh, we were just working really hard tonight. You know, uh, we all three of us had good games. We all complimented each other very well. So I think... Uh, you know, I owe my success definitely to my linemates uh, game, and I'm sure they can say the same uh, to each other. So uh, it was good to, good that we uh, came out with, uh, with the win today. I know it's great to have the points, but uh, the coach putting you out there in a real important spot at the end of the game, you win a big defensive zone faceoff, and that's got to feel good too to make sure that you can seal the win. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Trying to get shaving cream here, and it didn't work out. They didn't even get you at all, did they? I know that I'm a vet. I know all the tricks. <laughs> Uh, just about the 